Hello viewers, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. We are going to continue with our loss of indices topic. In the last video, we looked at two of the laws, multiplication law and division law. I want to plead with you to subscribe to the channel, comment, likes, and share. For those of you that are subscribed already, I really appreciate. And for those, those of you that are here to subscribe, please do. So we move on to the third law now. The third law is called power law. Now, power law states that any number that is raised to power and is raised to another power, then you multiply the two power. Look at it. For example, if you have two raised to power three, then raised to power of two. The law simply states that multiply these two powers, which become two raised to power 3 times 2. And that raised to power of 6, which gives you 64. Now, we can also adopt multiplication law. In such a way, we have 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power of 3. This is the square, this one, and then this one. It becomes 2 raised to power 3. It becomes 2 raised to power 3 plus 3. Because multiplication law states that when you have the same base, then the power should be added. That is 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 3. It gives you the power of 6, simply 64. Then another one is product, product power law. Now, product power law is similar to this power law, but they are different. Now, this one states that if you have a number, numbers or different factors raised to a particular power then you have to raise each of the number or factor to that power for example if you have 3 p q raised to the power of 2 the law states that raise each of these number or factor each of these number and alphabet to have it raise it to the power of 2 and that is 3 raised to the power 2 multiplied by the letter P raised to the power 2 multiplied by the letter Q raised to the power of 2. Now, each of the factors are raised to the power. We simply, 3 raised to the power 2 is 9 times P raised to the power 2, that's P squared, times Q squared. Multiply that together, you have 9 P squared, Q squared. That is all about product power law. No. Let's take another example on that. If you have A, B, C, a to the power of 3, then it simply says that raise each of these alphabets here, each of these factors to 3. We have A3 multiplied by B3 multiplied by C3. Then you have A3, B3, then C3. That's it. Then Another law I'm going to look about look at is number five. It's called zero law. This is zero law. And what does zero law simply says? It states that anything, whatever raised to power of zero is equal to one. That is, a raised to power of zero equals to one. B raised to power of zero equals to one. Even one thousand raised to power of zero is equal to one. Now. If you have under, if you have it this way, like 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3, you are going to adopt the division law. We can also be written as 2 to the power 3 over 2 to the power 3. Now, division law states that if you have numbers whose bases are the same, subtract the divisor from the dividend. Then you have 2 to the power 3 minus 3, which equals to 2 to the power 0 and equals to one. So if you are solving a question, either OBJ, most especially in OBJ, and then you solve up to this place, I don't see the option, you don't, you don't see this option, just know that one is the same as two to power zero. So any to the power zero is one. So for this part, we are going to stop here. So the next video will continue with our loss. So please subscribe to the channel and watch. Thank you.